Knox County's District Attorney General says the man accused of stabbing and killing three women at a pilot gas station back in April acted alone. The DA says no charges are being filed against the Knox County deputy who shot and killed that suspect, saying the officer's actions were justified. 10 News reporter Katie Emmon breaks down the timeline of what officials say happened that day. We do have a warning. Some of the images and details in the story may be disturbing to some viewers. <laughs> we got a guy in this store that's stabbing people. Multiple 911 calls made on April 7th reveal the panic at the pilot gas station on Strawberry Plains Pike. District Attorney Sharm Allen says 33-year-old Idris Abdu Salam, a truck driver from North Carolina, arrived at the gas station in Knoxville to fill up a day before the attacks. He did enter the store that day around 5 o'clock. He had no altercations with anybody in the store. Uh, went in and bought some drinks, took those drinks back out to his truck. After he left the gas station, he went to a hotel down the street. Uh, the morning of these stabbings, he enters the store three times that morning. From this security footage, you would think it was an average morning, but after taking a shower and changing clothes, Salam goes into the store and stabs three women employees to death. He then goes on to injure a woman customer outside. Other truck drivers tried to get him to stop by spraying fire extinguishers. An expedition outside ran over and hit Salam multiple times. Each time he got back up with the knife still in hand. Then Knox County Deputy Jordan Hurst responded to those 911 calls. Put the knife down now! Put the knife down now! He fired the fatal shot. Mr. Salam had stabbed four people, uh, had been hit by a vehicle twice, and had been given eight commands to stop uh, and showed no signs of stopping. Katie Inman, 10 News. Investigators found multiple notes and writings from Salam talking about the urge to kill and suppressing it. Reports show he was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol during that attack.